Thank you so much, Christian. All right, let's head to Springs Preserve, talking fall water restrictions with the Southern Nevada Water Authority, the sponsors of this next segment. My name is Diana Diaz and I work for the Southern Nevada Water Authority and we're here at the Springs Preserve to remind you of the fall mandatory watering restrictions. The mandatory fall watering restrictions are officially in effect now through the end of October, which means that you can only water on your three assigned watering days. If you don't know your watering schedule, you can visit snwa.com to find your assigned watering days. Uh, it's really important that you change your watering clock now to avoid costly water waste fines, fines that range from about $40 to $80 or higher for repeat offenders, and to save money and water. And this year, the seasonal restrictions actually take on added significance following the announcement of the shortage declaration on the Colorado River. The shortage will reduce the amount of water we can withdraw from Lake Mead, the source of 90% of our community's water by 7 billion gallons of water next year. Now, if every um, property in Southern Nevada were to follow the seasonal watering restrictions year round, our community could save more water than is being cut under shortage condition. That's more than 7 billion gallons of water a year. And did you know that by changing your watering clock each season, that's four times a year to comply with the seasonal restrictions, you could save up to $300 annually on your water bill. Some of our best watering tips include for sprinklers, um, watering no more than 12 minutes per watering day. That's all your grass needs. Now for drip irrigated plants, you can water less days, but for longer durations, um, depending on the flow of your emitters. Um, we recommend about one to two watering days um, per week for drip irrigation. And you can invest in a smart irrigation controller um, and you can enjoy the ease of setting your watering clock from your smartphone from anywhere. And the Water Authority actually offers a rebate for a smart controller so you could save money and water. Some additional tips to save money and water are to get rid of your useless grass. If you're only on it to mow it, then replace it with water smart landscaping. The SNWA offers re a rebate of up to $3 per square foot of grass that you replace with water efficient landscaping. Uh, water smart landscapes can be beautiful, colorful, vibrant. They're more than just rocks and cacti. And you can get a lot of ideas here at the Springs Preserve for your water smart landscape to help you start saving time, money, and water. Thank you, Southern Nevada Water Authority, for sponsoring this segment. JC, they, they need a raider to be their new enforcer, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, for more information, call 702-258-SAVE or visit snwa.com. Well, there's more Las